Hey, what's going on, Who That Nation? It is yours truly, TJ Jones, the host of the State of the Saints podcast. And for a few minutes, I want to talk a little bit about the New Orleans Saints releasing offensive guard Larry Warford. Now, this comes to no surprise to some in the Who That Nation because most people knew that the Saints drafting Cesar Ruiz that there were going to be some moves being made on the offensive line, so this isn't a surprise. But Larry Warfoot saves the New Orleans Saints $7.7 million. He was supposed to get about $8 million uh, if he would have played this season. Larry Warfoot came to the New Orleans Saints in 2017 from the Detroit Lions. Uh, I think he came out of the University of Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, only thing he did for the New Orleans Saints was three straight years in the Saints uniform, made the Pro Bowl three times, one of the best offensive guards in football. Now, he did have a down year. I will concede to that. But Larry Warford will not be on the streets very long. This guy will get signed. I would be highly surprised if he hasn't been signed by the end of this week. He's a big, solid guy. Um, you know, he's good at run support. Uh, that's probably his M.O. He's, he's much better at run support than pass protection. But Larry Warford is a good football player and he's a really decent guy man and i wish him all the best i'm not mad at the new orleans saints i understand it um i've been talking about this on several episodes that the new orleans saints are trying to make room to make sure that they pay those 2017 players they can pay the alvin kamaras the Lattimore's, the ram checks the marcus williams of the world so they got to make some moves man and unfortunately uh larry warford was a cap casualty but I think the New Orleans Saints are doing the right thing. They're trying to make their offensive line a little bit more younger. They're probably going to end up moving Eric McCoy to the guard position and put Cesar Ruiz at the center uh, position. So you got yourself uh, two young guys on your offensive line. And yeah, Ramchek, he's young as well. You got Armstead on the end, and you just signed Andrews Pete to a five-year deal. So I think the Saints are really excited about of the direction that their offensive line is going. And I think that that's what they need, man. They need guys that are big and physical because the New Orleans Saints are going to be going through a transition over the next couple of years, uh, trying to find the replacement for Drew Brees. And we all know that young quarterbacks, it takes time for them to grow and develop. And we also know that the best friend to a young quarterback is a running game. So the New Orleans Saints are trying to beef up their offensive line because they know that they're going to have to kind of uh, hang on their running game in the future man I know that's a shock to say because we don't see the Saints running the football very much but that's because Sean Payton has so much confidence in Drew Brees but eventually they're going to have to run the football and they're doing the right things beefing up their offensive line with young talented and hungry players but I would love to hear from you what do you think about the release of Larry Warford uh, what team do you think he's going to end up going to I think he's going to the Ravens in my personal opinion. But I would love to hear from you. Comment down below, like, and share this video. This has been the State of the Saints podcast. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com, search the State of the Saints podcast. Also, facebook.com, search W, W L G I. <laughs> I'm thinking about the radio station. Search the State of the Saints podcast. There you go. <laughs> and uh, thank you all very much for the love and the support. Till next time. All I got to say is, who that?